Buongiorno. That's Italian. Because I had an Italian friend of mine. Well, she ain't my friend, but she is my friend because she's part of my family, my YouTube family. She said, you always say it in Spanish and sometimes in French. This is how you say it in Italian. So, buongiorno, my lovely gorgeous peeps. Well, you can see my hands have turned white. They ain't white. They gloves. And why do I have gloves on? Because I am doing an outside catering job today. And I am so, 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 so busy. But I thought I would share with you one of my recipes. It's very quick, very easy. And these are my salt fish cakes, okay? Now, I'm going to get my friend, Andrea, to show you how to make the real kind of authentic Beijing-style salt fish ones. These are mama's salt fish cakes because you don't have to use salt fish in my ones. You can use any fish you like. Quite often I put prawns in mine, but today I'm using salt fish. Now salt fish is a fish that you get from the shops and it's usually dry and it's preserved and that way they can keep it for longer. But when you have salt fish, you must soak it overnight in cold water. Then you pour off the water, put some fresh water on, give it another soak, pour that off, I'd say, after about six hours, and then it's ready to go. Now, if I were to have a little nibble on this, which I'll do right now, it's still very salty, but it's nice, okay? So, you will notice, I'm not going to add any salt to this recipe other than what's in my Cajun seasoning, all right? Now, salt fish cake. So, the basis is you get your salt fish, break it up, kind of tear it apart. So you break it up after it's been soaking. After yeah. it's been soaking. I chopped it up, chopped half my finger off as well, but that's another story. And then you just want to flake it up. To this, we are going to add, on this board I have some spring onions, and you want quite a bit of, okay. of those. So that's scallions. For scallions, our yep. Fans. And some coriander. Cilantro. And this is Scott Bonnet chilies. Now these are very hot, but they're lovely. Okay, can I ask you taking the seeds out? I, I've bonnet. taken the seeds out. Okay, so now this um, that I, the family that I'm cooking for, um, they they are their their roots are in the Caribbean, so they're used to a little bit of spice. So I'm gonna spice it up. Okay, so I'm gonna give that a little bit of a stir, and then to this as well. I am going to add some of my homemade jerk seasoning, okay? So let's just get a little bit of that. So it's going to be nice, it's going to have a nice little kick to it, but not overly fiery. Let's give that a stir. Now, my client this week, um, the, she's, uh, it's a big family. I cook for them quite regularly, but mainly I cook for their auntie, Pat. She's a judge. But she has um, celiac. She, celiac. She's allergic to gluten. So um, all of my recipes for them are gluten-free. So I've made a gluten-free cornbread for them. I even did her a gluten-free pasta macaroni and cheese. So the flour that I'm going to be using in my fish cakes is plain white flour. But this is free from gluten. All right, now I do find, you will find that if you are making gluten-free products, the, the consistency is a little bit different. So you, got, you have to add a little bit more moisture to it. So just going to add a little bit of that flour. Mix it in. And this is my gluten-free flour. Give it a stir. Okay, it's quite dry. Let's put a little bit more in. Now, a lot of fish cakes, um, you know, people put milk. They put all sorts of things. Um, I love cooking with beer. It gives it a really good flavor, beer batter. But what I'm going to do for these, because I don't know if they're teetotal or what. So I'm going to just use some sparkling water, okay? So soda water. Soda water. Or seltzer water, is or that seltzer what water. Americans call it? Yep. Salt, so, seltzer water. And this really helps to keep them nice and light. So good little glug lugger. Now let's see here. Let's mix that up. Yeah. There we go. So if you were using beer, you'd use beer. You would I'd, use I would use beer. Okay. I usually would use beer. 
And I go out and buy the cheapest beer going. Mm -hmm. You know, like one of them 50 cent cans. You know, some lager. Cheap lager. Kind of maybe a little, you might see on the street corner. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the ones you can't afford. What? Hobo special? Yep, yep. <laughs> All right. That's a terrible thing to say. I'm so sorry. No, but still, <laughs> you know, it's true. Now, that is a little bit too loose. So, I'm going to add a little bit more flour. It's difficult to judge with this flour. I don't cook with it often, but I do cook with it. What now. What kind of consistency are you going for, Mom? I'm kind of going for a little bit thicker than this. Okay. I put a little bit too much water. But you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to cook one. Okay. So I'm going to just deep. Is that the best way? That's the best way to okay. find out because you don't want it to be because this way it's going to puff up and be mm -hmm. really nice and light and fluffy. But I need to put just a teeny bit more in. Just a little bit. So let me go over to my fryer and I'm just going to fry one up. We're going to see how it goes. If it's not right, then I'm going to add some more flour. I'll be right back to you, my peeps. Okay, so I've done a quick batch, just a, a sample batch, all right, um, just so I can see the consistency and the color, and they're just right. So let me show you. When you cook them, what I tend to do is just get like an ice cream scoop, because that's all you need, and literally you just drop them straight into the pan. Okay, so if you don't have a deep fat fryer, can you do it just in a pan? You can do it in a, yeah, but you need quite a bit of oil. Okay. Okay, so they, they need, need to, to be submerged. They need to be submerged, so we just go... Okay, just about that much. Okay. Uneven. And they cook for about five minutes. But you can see. Listen. Can you hear that crisp? Can you hear that crisp? Lum. Dum a dum dum. They are so good. Mmm. Good. Mmm. This one got a little bit too much salt, but that's okay. Did you catch that? I did. I think you said these ones have got a little bit too much salt, but that's yeah. okay. I could have soaked them for a little bit longer, but the purpose of salt dish is that they're soaked in salt. These are good. So, these are great with dipping sauce, so you can dip them in sweet chili sauce or just some hot pepper sauce. Kids would probably put ketchup on it, but, you know, hey, whatever. But they're delicious. So these are Mama's Quick and Easy Salt Fish Cakes. So all I got to say is to all my peeps out in the world, I only wish you a couple of things. And that is peace, love, and a whole lot of soul from the Mama. Munch on.